While doing a night dive at Leo Carrillo State Beach, uh, we came across this little guy. This is a round stingray. Now rays are very interesting animals. They spend their lives lying on the sand, so in order to breathe, they pump water through spiracles that are located just behind their eyes. Also, we can tell this one is a male because he has modified pelvic fins called claspers that are used for reproduction. Now rays are most commonly found out in sandy areas. Um, that's where they live. They live down laying on the sand, sometimes half buried. So a lot of divers will commonly, you know, dive around only rocky reef structures because that's where there's a lot of interesting things, lobsters and things living underneath rocks and all that stuff. And divers tend to avoid the sandy areas, but you know, every once in a while go, go swim out over the sandy areas and you'll be surprised. Sometimes you'll come across a ray or something interesting like this. Um, don't limit yourself to just one habitat. Now the way that you can tell this is a round stingray is by its round body shape. A lot of the other rays out there have more of a diamond shape. Their pectoral fins come to a point at the end. Another feature about this ray that sets it off from the others is it has a short, thick tail that ends in a broad, flattened fin at the end of it. Now, most of the other rays, their tails are very whip-like. They come to a very fine point. It looks like a long string hanging off the back of their bodies. Stingrays get their name from this venomous spine that's located on their tail that they use for self-defense. Now this pine is capable of delivering a very, very painful sting. Um, typically, they only use it when they feel threatened or somebody's walking through the surf and they accidentally step on one. It's going to whip that tail up and jam it into your leg. Now, the spine itself is very sharp and it can deliver a pretty deep laceration, which causes you know a lot of bleeding, but an extreme amount of pain due to the venom that is injected. Uh, first aid for a stingray sting is to immerse the sting in as hot water as possible, as hot as you can stand it, because the heat will actually break down the proteins injected into your leg or whatever, wherever else you got stung. Uh, to avoid getting stung by a stingray, uh, the best thing to do is first off just leave it alone. Just like anything else, you want to respect the animals that are out there. If it doesn't run away from you, there's usually a reason. They have a self-defense mechanism that they can use. Also, when walking through surf, make sure you shuffle your feet to avoid getting stung.